Well, boy, do I have a story to tell you guys. So I need to kind of run through the entire reason for this trip that uh, went in this, uh, this trip to Wisconsin. Went to Whitewater to catch a, a drum corps competition. My son's heavily involved in percussion and marching band. We also are visiting some friends here in Mequon, Wisconsin. And there is the lovely campus of Concordia University, Wisconsin, stretched out before you there. My friends Michael and Heidi and their kids Ephraim and Elizabeth and Amelia are with my family and they're over there hanging out and I wanted to launch from here so I joined a Wisconsin paramotoring group to ask for good places to launch around here and one guy who hit me up, his name was Carlo and he was giving me some advice. I told him that if he's out flying to look for my blue and gold wing and as I go up Look, I see him coming by, and he was blowing some smoke, and uh, we waved at one another, and it was awesome. So, a little bit of uh, PPG community there. Oh, something interesting about Concordia University, all the buildings are connected by a series of underground tunnels, which sounds very Cold War, but I think it might just be because being right here next to Lake Michigan, it's easier to walk to class in your pajamas if you're going through a tunnel. If anyone happens to watch this, who attends the beautiful Concordia, Wisconsin, comment on your favorite class, the best prof. and forwarded to an automatic voice message system. No one's answering me. I'm trying to call my family and they're having none of it. Ah, there's the bridge they're making. I'll tell you, the lovely area of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, I think I should come back in like a year because they're working on everything, it seems like. Lots of detours, lots of orange barrels, a golf course here looking dramatic in the setting sun. So this is just really stunning. I can't say or think this enough. Living down in St. Louis, there's a really nice big body of water, but it's really long and thin called the Mississippi River. And it's beautiful, and, but this is really cool. And straight that way, if you go probably, I'm gonna guess 75 miles, you'll end up over on the west coast of Michigan. This is a really good look at, at erosion, all those trees. And then as you come over towards the bluff, they're in different stages of collapse. And some of them collapsed all the way down there. Some drifted off, got pushed back. And now they create the shore. Oh, there we go. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Heidi. I was, I've been trying to call various members, but uh, it's been going to voicemail, so I didn't know if it was a reception problem up here. Probably reception down here. We were just thinking we should walk up in case you're trying to call, so. In like 10 minutes or less, I'll probably be getting on the ground. Okay, great. We'll walk up, and you should be able to call Liz in another five minutes once we walk up to if you need to. Okay, sounds good. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Excellent. All right. The wind is pretty stout, I'll tell you making a blistering 12.8 miles per hour straight into the wind. Ah, uh, and the long shadows cast by the golden bales of hay along the fruited plain. And I turn around and all of a sudden we are going 36.2 miles per hour. 
Now, one thing that is worth noting down here is that this field is also a disc golf course. So there are random disc golf chains, nets, holes, not sure what you call them, that are sprinkled throughout, which is worth noting if that's the field I'm going to be landing at. That's a sunset and a half. That was a good flight. Now it's time to come on in. Okay, maybe one of the only times I'm gonna to have to say this. The main thing to look out for is not power lines, the main thing to look out for is disc golf nets. Turn off your camera. What's that? Do you want me to turn off the camera? Oh yeah, that's great. You can turn off the camera. 